Hello and welcome to another PWN Design Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add a uh, sky and atmosphere option inside of Blender so you can use those for your landscape renders. Let's go ahead and delete this cube and this light. We won't need those. Uh, it's not necessary that you do that but I'm just doing that because I like to have a nice clean slate. And then let's go ahead and change our render engine because the method that we're going to be using here is not supported with EV at the moment. So let's go ahead and go to rendering, EV, cycles, and you can choose whatever you want here. Uh, I stick with supported, uh, but the devices here doesn't really matter just as long as your render engine is cycles. And now let's go back to layout. And from here, let's go to the world properties, color, click on this yellow icon right here, go to texture, and then down to sky texture. That will now add a Nishida Sky object, uh, or at least a Nishida Sky texture to your uh, render or your or viewport here. And then it will also have a sun object in there. Now to see it, we have to go ahead and do viewport shading. It'll be this button right here. And there we go. Now we have our sun object in there as well as our Nishida Sky model. We do have the option to use the Hosek Wilkie, which will change it to uh, the typical Hosek Wilkie look that we uh, all know and love. But I do recommend that we stick with the Nishita. And then from here, you can play around with the settings to your heart's content. Uh, the air, uh, this is where you're gonna get the most uh, bang for your buck in a lot of the settings. So if you increase the air, um, you're going to get a lot of this yellow and orange. If you increase the dust, it's going to increase a lot of like the haze that you get. Um, it'll, it's, it'll also really affect the corona around the sky. Or not the sky, but the sun. And then the ozone, and that will just either increase or decrease the amount of uh, blue saturation that you have in your atmosphere. Uh, or at least just the ozone. Now again, these are just, um, you're just going to play around with these until you find the values that you like. These are more artistic. There is no rhyme or reason into what would be considered realistic. You're just gonna have to play with those settings till you find whatever looks good for you. The altitude here is the altitude of your current location. So if we we're at sea level, it'll be zero meters. If you're about where I'm at, it's about 2,840 meters above sea level, and that will increase the uh, the altitude look that we have. So if you increase this really high, uh, you'll start, especially when we have like objects that are affected by this, we don't currently, but as you can see here, as we increase the altitude, things start getting a little bit more blue, the atmosphere gets a little more thin, and now it looks like we're really high up in the air. So uh, that's what that altitude option right there would do for you. And then everything else is pretty self-explanatory uh, from all the other 3D packages out there. You have your sun elevation, which just increases or decreases the sun elevation in the elevation. You can see it right here. If we increase the sun size, it makes the sun larger. Uh, I imagine this also affects the uh, shadows as well. I don't have an object here to test with right now, but usually the larger the sun size is, the softer the shadows and the smaller the sun is, the more uh, sharp the shadows are. And then you have the sun intensity, which will either, if it's at zero, obviously you're gonna get this, but if you increase it, uh, you'll get a much brighter uh, light on your objects. Uh, it's not gonna make the sun kind of blow up in the sky here like it does in some other applications it looks like, but uh, let's go ahead and add a cube. So I guess we do wanna kind of keep the cube there. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at it right here. So if we increase the sun intensity, you can see the cube is getting a lot more light hitting it than if we were to go back down to uh, not zero, but one. There we go. And now you can see we can see all the sides here. And then as we increase the uh, sun intensity, it starts getting a little bit more uh, bright. So that'll affect on the per object basis. It's not going to affect it on the way it looks here in the sun or in the sky. Man, I'm getting those two mixed up. But uh, that's about it. That's a very simple process. It's not very hard to kind of implement. The only downside is, is that it's you have to use cycles. If you can consider that a downside, um, 
maybe some people would like to use EV instead, but I mean, that's all up to you. But this particular way of doing things works with cycles only. If you try to use EV, it won't show up. So cycles is the key here. <clears throat> now, I do apologize if I sound sick. I am. My throat hurts from coughing all the time, and I have very bad congested nose and uh, pressure in my head. My kid got a cold. It's not COVID, but she got a cold and she gave it to me. So I, I do. If I sound tired and sick, I apologize. One more thing is I am now moving to Odyssey. Um, I no longer like to do business with YouTube because YouTube is making it really hard to do business with. Uh, every time I submit a video inside of Cinema 40 with Corona, my video gets flagged as if I'm trying to talk about the Corona virus rather than corona render and so they put my video on hold until it can be reviewed and since i'm such a small creator and don't have a huge following um it, that review process can take sometimes days and sometimes never even gets looked at and i've had to make them go through and look at my videos and say look i'm talking about a rendering engine not about a virus um and I don't like that. It's starting to get frustrating because I can't have video content being delayed like that for you guys. So I moved to Odyssey. Odyssey is not flagging videos like that. Um, and you can support me directly rather than giving your money to YouTube. There are no ads. I will. I refuse to have ads. I will not have ads on my videos. You, there will never be ads as long as I'm using Odyssey. And you guys can support me directly using uh, either... Uh, fiat money like us dollars or whatever currency that you have as tips you don't have to but if you wanted to you definitely could or you can use my uh invite link that i will have in my link tree in this video description uh where you can actually earn some odyssey coin which is actually called library coin uh right here uh, i'll just show you right here this is my wallet there's not a lot to it this is all the coins that i've uh gained since joining odyssey um, and it's just been from viewing videos and commenting and liking on videos and stuff like that and i've been able to earn coins that way um, as well as i've got maybe one or two coins uh through people uh providing them to me on my channel and on my videos but in any case None of that is required. If you want to do that, you most certainly can and would help my channel. The more uh, content gets boosted, the easier it is to find on Odyssey. And there's not a whole lot of Gaia content on Odyssey. I'm literally one of the very first people on Odyssey to be presenting that kind of content. I'm not saying I am the first one, just there aren't a whole lot of people. So if you want to help, please join up on Odyssey and help support the channel that way. That would be very helpful. And if you use my invite link, you'll get some coin as well as you'll be providing me coin, which I can use to boost more of my content or other people's content. Um, so it, it all comes down to what you want to do. But I am moving away from YouTube and I'm moving to Odyssey. Uh, and that might make some of you mad, but I'm sorry. I just I can't keep working with YouTube. It's becoming a very hard, daunting task to work with them. And I don't like their censorship. I don't like their ideas i don't like their ideologies and uh i also don't like how they're making some of my favorite content creators even artists uh harder to find and as an artist i don't like being censored because art is the best way to express somebody uh, or express somebody's ideas or feelings or whatever it is that's going on in the moment and youtube is making that a lot harder as well so uh one more time there is an invite link in my link tree. You can click on that. It'll, if you don't already have an account, it'll just have you create an Odyssey account. It doesn't cost anything and you'll get some coin to use for whatever you want and you'll be providing me coin as well. So uh, have at it if you would like. If not, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing regardless and I will see you guys in the next video.